Jack. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. One victim remains in the hospital this evening, five days after the workplace shooting in Middleton. UW Hospital tells us that person is in fair condition. Two other shooting victims were released from the hospital over the weekend. As investigators and those who knew the shooter try to piece together what happened, we're finding out more about the 43-year-old Anthony Tong and what was found in his home. Our Madeline O'Neill joins us now to explain. Charlotte and Mark, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is still trying to track down the semi-automatic pistol police say Tong illegally obtained and used during the attack Wednesday morning. They've conf confiscated other items from his home, including hundreds of rounds of ammunition and gun parts. We spoke with an area gun shop to get some context on what that means, along with an old college classmate of Tong's and what he remembers. The same thing that happens every time there's a shooting. Time and time again. There's another one, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate that they happen. The question becomes, what happened? Finding his motive, that's the tough part. In looking over this list of what was found in the Middleton shooter Anthony Tong's home. Well, the, the list itself, to me, is a little innocuous. Like Deerfield Pistol and Archery Center manager Brett Fankhauser says beyond ballistic vests, he isn't finding much out of the ordinary. You know, that would probably be the most illegal thing he's got that I can see is the gun he used to actually commit the crimes. Officials tell us Tong was unable to legally buy the pistol he used because of his mental health history. But items police confiscated from his home, including a pellet gun, a black powder gun, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition could be bought at a shop or online without a background check, Fankhauser says. That's 100 rounds of ammunition. It's not a lot of, to get hundreds of rounds. Fankhauser notes that a gun building kit also found in Tong's home. And those you're supposed to report. Can be purchased online without a background check as well. Was that a way around potentially buying a gun when you're not allowed to? I suppose it is. I think his deeds far outweighed what they found in his house. While trying to put together the pieces, others are sorting through their memories. We weren't strangers. We weren't close friends or acquaintances. Former Madison City Alder Chris Schmidt says he and Tong were both physics majors in the same graduating class at Lawrence University. He fit into the norm for Lawrence University. He was quiet. Uh, he would socialize with people. He was not asocial, um, but he, he was a quiet guy. Schmidt's memories are just small pieces of a puzzle asking why. One that may never be solved. He's not around to ask him that anymore. The police chief said during a press release last week that the ATF is running into problems tracing the pistol Tong used, saying there's something unique about the weapon. He hasn't elaborated after that. All right, Madeline O'Neill reporting tonight. Madeline, thank you.